episode number 144. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Oh, hi, hi Norman. Hi there, Dan. How are you, man? I've seen better days, but I'm good. I see. Um, how's your Saturday, man? Ah, oh, rotten. I had to work, work today. Hi. That's, that's no fun. Yeah, it's worse because I got scolding from the boss. <laughs> the boss. Yes. Uh, let's not go into it anymore. No, uh, hope you don't want to know either. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also joining us is James. Hey. Hey there, man. How are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Get back to me on that in a couple of months. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe 2015 will start better. Maybe after Christmas? Probably. <sighs> Who knows? Mm-hmm. We'll move on to the next one before this podcast turns into a depressing podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, joining us. Also joining us is Rom. Hello, all you happy people. What happy people? It's my intro, man. Let's move on. <laughs> yep. I'm doing yeah. okay. Weekend's going fine. Workflow is stable. Got a few things to complain about, but we're not going to cover that because we're here for happy fun times. So yeah, let's move on. <laughs> wow. I'm here to be cheered up. So, so yeah. Much rush. I had my so beers, man. Wow. <laughs> I had Yay. my cider before the Express show. Gene. All right. And also joining us is Finn. Good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you doing, man? Uh, I'm a bit under the weather, but, uh, you know, um... All good? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Blame the Asian weather. <laughs> uh, I blame the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's still Asian weather. Ooh, monsoon season, yeah, sure. I mean, at least you're not in an office where people put the air con at unreasonably cold temperatures. Uh, Believe me, the lecture hall is, is really cold. <laughs> Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, I can understand that. Universities have too much money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also, joining us is Kat. Hey, Kat. Hi. How are you doing? Mm, it's kind of tired here because I... This morning, I had, like, a family day and oh. we did, like, a lot of running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From zombies, I hope not. <laughs> No, it's not zombies. It's, it's a photo. It's a kind Christmas of like a season. Photo. It's not Halloween. Hey, walking <laughs> family. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, walking that shows us that there's no such thing as frozen zombies. So, anywho, before we start the show, I need to ask the four important questions. And then, since... Well, you've been here, so I'm just going to ask you two. Favorite mm-hmm. character, favorite episode. Make it fast. Pinky, Pinky, Pinky. This is all the way Pinky. Favorite episode... Has got to be a friend indeed. Still holding on to that, even though Pinky Pride was Pinky Pride falls slightly short because of the live action scene. So yeah, <laughs> hey, live action scene, friend is fun. indeed. All right, and Finn, favorite character? Um, Twilight because she's so very OP with her magic. <laughs> and favorite episode is, uh, it has got to be Twilight's Kingdom Part Two. That that whole like. Laser ball thingy, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, yes, you know. Alright, so how did you become a fan of the show? It was two, three years ago. Yeah, like when I first heard the theme song, mm-hmm. I thought it was catchy. So I watched the entire two seasons in a week. Oh, wow. Oh, That's okay. the first. I never knew people were converted by the theme song. I thought that was a major turn off. <laughs> because like, I, I was making edits like 8 a.m. Um. weeks before so like you know I, I thought the team song might might be good for that so okay. yeah <laughs> alright no offense Daniel Ingram <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway what do family and friends think about your love for sex show I don't really go out of my way to um you know profess my confession <laughs> for, for ponies so yeah they are actually quite cool or uh, at least, all my um, college friends, mm. you know, since they are in the, the same course as I am and, and stuff like that. Okay, cool, cool. And Kit, uh, sorry, Kat, what about yeah, you? Yeah. Favorite, um, favorite uh, character? Favorite would be Rainbow Dash. Alright. Yeah. And favorite episode? I would say also Twilight's Kingdom because it's overall it's a very exciting and I always like exciting and dramatic episodes those things that always strung my heartstrings mm, okay cool you I know mean... no, Equestria Girls is also long and exciting and <laughs> but that's not an episode <laughs> 
you said that you said that episode right? I didn't say a movie. Yeah, so true, true. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> the songs were good, no? Like mm. Daniel Ingram really knows how to make them songs. Mm, true that, true that. That's why I haven't watched Rainbow Rocks yet. Oh, you should, man. You should. You but... should like it's all pop and rock and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. There's so, a lot of things that I should do, like take a bath right now. <laughs> right yeah. But anywho, Kat, how do you became a fan of the show? I was randomly surfing through the net and I saw a pony video. I think it was a derpy related video. I kind of know what My Little Pony was before, but I didn't really go into the into it into that. But mm-hmm. once I stumbled across a video, I decided to research on it, and after a while, I maybe because I. I'm not so against the, uh, to the show back then because I really enjoyed a lot of cartoons when I was young. So mm-hmm. I gave this show a shot, like a watch on online, and yeah, I watched it over like a few weeks, mm. every single episode. Oh, wow! And that was like two years ago. <laughs> wow, that, that is awesome. That is awesome. So, what do your family and friends think about your love for said show? They are really cool and. I actually influenced my successfully successfully influenced my sisters. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, all right. So thanks for answering the four important questions and let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is guest time. So Dan, Finn and Kat, who are you guys? Am I introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you guys do? Well, if you don't know me by now, well, it's about 144 episodes. Just remove the first one, you go back, then you'll hear my voice again. Uh, my name is St. Pinky, Daniel Anthony. For some of you who know me in real life, I am a bit too much of a brony. <laughs> and uh, I am the music and PR director for the Cloudsdale Splash happening in a few days' time. Time from the date this podcast is aired, actually, on the 20th to the 21st of December. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And our chair is right here in the chat as well. Finn is the chairman of the Cloudsdale Splash. Finn, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, um, good evening. Uh, my name is Finn Pai, and uh, I, I um, actually had this idea of like gathering all the artists and musicians, basically the artistic side of the fandom. Singapore Br- Brownies fandom. And uh, Kat over here is our video compositor. Yeah, and... that, that's all I think. That's all I do is... All I did was that trailer. And you do an awesome job, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I, some, people, I don't, some people say I'm like the A-claps of Singapore or something. That was what Finn said to me. <laughs> I said yes. Well, so, Finn kind of described how he came up with the idea, but um, how many people were involved with the start of this? There are four of them us in the core committee uh there's finn the chair there's me there's the pr and music uh there's cat who's doing the video and we have one more uh gloomy nyan if you've heard of her mm-hmm. uh singaporean artist really really amazing and beautiful artist she is our official artist she drew our mascots she designed them and uh yeah all this art that you see on our web page on our facebook page most of them is by her ah wow, awesome 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 so what gave you guys the idea to start this whole um it's not a convention is it right no not actually it sense. does come under the purview of a convention now i learned this very recently from how eqd is handling uh news like this is that conventions really are just a meeting of people of similar interest regardless of whether they're for a big scale event like BronyCon or just a tiny uh you know meet up, meet up. Yeah. yeah i mean big meetup kind of thing so yeah it's actually considered a convention but not as a fancy, fancy convention like that of BronyCon or something. Hmm, okay. So, what gave you guys the idea? Basically, me and Daniel uh, first thought about this as a, like a big meetup thingy. Everyone can come and have fun. And we went from there to, to, to like, now it is a big, huge thing now. Like, you know, as compared to when we first thought about it yeah it did start like that we wanted to make it like a little cute little meetup kind of thing to get together but then we realized you know art in the brony fandom is, is really almost what makes up i would dare say almost 90 percent of the fandom it's just the art that keeps coming and that's why people stay in the fandom is because mm-hmm. the art is awesome i'm not just talking about drawings and paintings I'm talking about animations music fanfics of all these kinds of things really make up the majority of the fandom the, the show that we watch is just a tiny portion of 
the content that we consume. So because of that, we thought it really needs a home and it needs a place to to be, you know, for artists to come together. And we go to con- big conventions like, um, you know, we don't go. I mean, I, I watched videos of places like um, Bro. Con and all that, and even places like Cantalot University, which was held a few months ago. These were general places for bronies to meet up, and uh, artists become just a part of it. So we wanted to have an event where artists become the part of it. Artists are the main thing, you know, mm. celebrating the beauty of art in the fandom. All right, all right. So this came from the idea of getting artists together and making art, right? Pretty much. Oh. All right, so. Dan, you said you were part of the music crew, right? Yeah. So, was that from the very beginning or was that an addition later on? Well, uh, it was something that we went through. Basically, we looked at this event and said, okay, uh, if it's just for artists alone, what else is there that we could do? So, if there's music involved, how can music be incorporated to an event? So, the first answer, which is, of course, the answer that we went with is definitely a concert. There's got to be some sort of a performance. There's got to be live music mm-hmm. you know in order to celebrate music you can draw live how why don't we do music live as well so i took it upon myself um, with finn's permission to start actually hold two concerts at this event there are going to be two concerts at the mm-hmm. Cloudsdale splash uh, if you read our website there is sunshine on day one mm-hmm. which is going to be a rock concert and um, you're going to see some people performing there you're going to see topic off track making a comeback the guys at uh, uh, can't let you All right. you're going to be seeing meals as well oh wow. And uh, yeah, I'll be performing there as well for the first night. And that's a rock concert. The second night will celebrate the other part of the Brony music scene, which is uh, dance music. Oh, really? No, EMD and other stuff? EDM, yeah. yes. Oh, we're okay. going to be celebrating EDM. I mean, okay, uh, Corridor can't make it because he's stuck in university. <laughs> well, but there are some <laughs> other musicians we've got on board, some really, really fresh, awesome talent. Some of them you may have seen on the Cantalot University album. Uh there are, Singapore has got more brony artists than a lot of people think. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. And we only found out about that when we, like... Uh, when we announced the event to sorry. the world, people yeah. started to come to us and say, Hey, uh, you're doing an event with music. Can I be involved some way? Mm. All mm-hmm. right. All right. All right. So you earlier said writing. So is writing part of the event too? Uh, sadly, not this round. Not really. Yeah. Yeah, we could only focus on uh, art and uh, music for now because it, it's just a start. But we would love to. Inco- the thing is, um, with fan fiction and uh, writing for that matter, um, you can say it's got a little part in there, which is actually to do with music, and, like sunshine, because all the songs that will be performed have lyrics to them, and these are all original. Most of them are original songs. Mm. All, right, all right, all right. So there's a bit of writing right there. Not as much to go as fanfics because those are difficult to go yeah, at yeah. one shot. I mean, you could you always put a guy on stage live reading a fanfic. <laughs> no, <laughs> Rob, you're not going to take part in this. No, exactly. Brony that's, that's, that's the thing, you know. Okay, so no. I wish I could take part in that. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm banning you from that, man. But no. Um, <laughs> But besides that, but besides that, so we we heard music, we heard art. So how's the whole format of the event? How is it going to flow? Basically, there will be um workshops and concerts like um what Dan mentioned earlier, and um the the artists who draw can can teach the general public, not just uh brownies to to like you know get interested in drawing and the musicians who make music can get them to you know be interested in music mm, all right so basically what you're saying is you're gonna do some kind of workshop after yes. the concert or after the live art stream something like that that is correct yeah Awesome, and in awesome. fact, I think we forgot to mention this event is completely free and uh, not oh, yeah. just free ticketing. It's free and open to any member of the public, not even just bronies. Wow, I, I was about to get to that, but free, you okay. say? Yep, completely free no and um, entrance fees. <coughs> Sorry, no ticketing. Uh, like um, no entrance fees, no no ticketing, and yeah, basically it's a free for all event. Like a- anyone can can just. Walk in and learn and walk out. Oh, that, that is that is cool. That is cool. 
So, I remember looking on the Facebooks that you had some kind of Indiegogo or Possible Possib- program? That's basically to, one, help, help to cover some fees of the event, mm-hmm. and two, to get the equipment that um, others need for, for like, um, their art, Pursuits and stuff like that. Mm, all right. So basically, it's for well, just to add in stuff that you guys don't have enough, right? It's a win-win situation. Mm. So, in uh, fact, actually, we have to say before we continue, we are really, really, really thankful to our, one of our sponsors, IMM Mall, for actually um, provide being the venue sponsor for us. <laughs> they were very, very generous to um, yeah. you know help us out with this, this event. We couldn't have done it without them. Oh well, that's awesome of them. That's awesome of them. So, as far as I um as I see, this small is, is it easy to access? Uh, it's near yes. the drawing. Oh, yes. It's near the drawing. It's MRT. It's yeah, small. and you can actually see it from the train station. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's Take it from me, Norman. I'm not Singaporean. If, if I say it's easy to access, means it's really <laughs> bloody easy to access. <laughs> All righty then. All righty then. <laughs> so, Cat, um, will you be doing anything for the con? Oh, Jeez. I'm currently doing that. Countdown for the Sunshine mm-hmm. event. Yeah, and it's doing quite well. I am also can't wait for people to see my see my videos because one reason why I like to do these kind of videos is watching people like liking my videos and seeing their satisfaction on their faces. That's, that's, that's one way I like to see my work. <laughs> Don't be all. Yeah, I know. So, will you be teaching any classes, or will you be doing anything, or recording videos of people? At Unfortunately, set? no, because you may say I'm not ready yet. Uh, but maybe next year I can do something. All right, all right. So we've talked about the location, we talk about the arts, we talk about the music that you guys be doing, and well, it's free. Is there anything that I'm missing out, guys? Yes, you have. We oh. have guests who are coming. Oh my Not goodness. Not to say guess exactly who are like, um, you know, show guests. Show guests, like, yeah, yeah. Like, a we can quite guests. afford them. Yeah, like, local but communities are really great guests. Uh, then, um, please. Yeah, um, first of all, a familiar name who has been on this show before, Excalibur 207, is going to be there. Wow, th- that is cool. He yep, is flying down for this. We also have um, artists who are going to be giving panels and giving workshops. We have Andre Te, we have uh, Rachel Melodinesa, we have uh, a few others. Sorry? Yeah, DM29. Uh, wait, is he coming? Uh, no, no, no. He, he won't be oh, coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, DM29. Yeah, he, like, we do wish him a very Merry Christmas and a, you know, really fast recovery. Oh, what happened? We don't uh, know. Oh. <laughs> we are not very sure. That's the thing. So. All right, all right. But we know something might have happened to him. So yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wish him well then. Wish him well. Remaining artists. Who else will be there? We have. Um, we have a few yeah. more. Oh, we have Christopher Tai, Inky Top Hat. Inky Top Hat. Yes. Mm-hmm. Top Hat will be there. We have Shadar, who's a Sakura Lama Ace. For some of you who might know her on Facebook, we have. Have um, as for musicians, 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 mm. musicians. There's meals. We mentioned that earlier. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah. coming. We are going to have uh, who, who else Saya? besides meals? Sorry, uh, like I'm sorry if I did not like pronounce this correctly. Like uh, we do have um, Isaiah. Or... Isaiah, yeah, yeah, Isaiah, yes. Zaya and um, Yasmil and Mr. Mester yeah. and then two rats mm-hmm. and, and then, a couple of others are contributing to the album they won't be there we, yeah we have an album just like Cantalite University we have another fundraising album for this uh, the few of them who are not going to be there are Corridor who's Harith and um, Ice Cube they're both uh, unfortunately not going to be able to make it oh that is cool that is cool so Here's might be a random question, but would can you be taking part in said event? Not this time round. But actually, maybe in the future. Yeah. Mm, all right. Like, I, actually, this event was meant to like parallel. Can you? So, you know, kind of. Mm, 
okay, maybe some cross promotions. I thought, but hey, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. There was a bit, yeah. The other thing is actually, in fact, one really interesting part part about this event is that for some reason, Singaporean events attract a lot of awesome people. Like in Cantalot University, we had a uh, Brony who came from America to attend the event. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. And uh, in this case, in Clasdale Splash, we actually have the chairman of Thai PonyCon 2015 attending. Wow. That is cool. That is cool. Wow. Yep. Awesome, man. Awesome. With all that, you said it's going to be at the IM Plaza Mall. You can just go there easily by MRT. And it's free. Free 99. <laughs> no, it's like 0. 0.00. <laughs> well, like, not if you factor in the um, airline fees and <laughs> bus fares. Well, and train tickets. But you'll go into the convention for free. And is this an indoor or outdoor convention? It's uh, outdoor, like, it's on a roof garden. Um, it has this, like, nice little water playground and, and a sheltered stage. So, mm. yeah. It's covered, don't worry. I mean, if it semi, rains, it rains. It's semi outdoor. Be dry. We'll yeah. be dry. Uh-huh. And here's the really, really interesting bit it's outdoor, but it's air conditioned. <laughs> what? Yeah. Be there to see it. <laughs> okay. I, when I when I went there, I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> sorcery! Much sorcery! This this is innovation. This is advance. Why aren't we doing this here? Why are we not funding this? <laughs> this Let's kickstart it, man! Never <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So, you we you have guests, you have artists, you have musicians, you have even awesome music. So, what else am I missing? Because I'm hype. All right, that's cool. Um. Well, just a couple more things. If you want to find out more about it and, um, you know, look around and see who's coming, head on over to cloudsdalesplash.com. All right, all right. And so be sure to follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and do you guys have the tumblers? No, uh, we don't. So. Um, it's cool. I don't we should. We it. should have a tumbler. Next year then, next year. And uh, maybe an Instagram as well. <laughs> Everybody loves the Instagram. It's I don't art. Know. I mean, there should be some art. I mean, it's visual. Yeah, what about DeviantArt? Yep, DeviantArt. Oh, you need to have that one too. The new DeviantArt. Uh, no. The the who's going to take the honor of putting the, the app on their phone for it? No, no. I have uh, right no, now. I'm stuck on uh, the m- mobile website because <laughs> Windows Phone. Oh, crap. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's slow to everything. Uh, but anywho, <laughs> um, I think that covers everything, right? Oh yes, I believe right. so. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be artists there. So, will there be any selling of prints or swag? Unfortunately, no, because uh, in order to use the like event space for free, um, the mall actually requested us not to do any form of um transaction on campus. Ah, so right. unfortunately, we're not allowed to sell anything and. Uh, Artists aren't allowed. There will be artist booths though. So let's just say if you see an artist that you like and you really want to learn their style, just watch them draw and see how they do it. You're welcome to just sit down there and um, talk to them more, get to know them. But unfortunately, you can't buy anything. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Nor can you sell anything. But um, if the artists are in a good mood, you, you can actually request them. And um, if they are willing to do it, you will get a free drawing. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Request or even trade, trade like art trade is fine. Like you, you draw for him, they draw for you. That's fine. <laughs> awesome, awesome. 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 Don't go into barter trade <laughs> like a bottle of coke for a, <laughs> a pencil sketch of your OC or something like that. No, no, no. Well, uh, I I don't know business, so I got no idea. <laughs> no, it will sound tempting because it's on the top floor of an outdoor venue. You know, because I get thirsty halfway, I need a Dr Pepper because they sell that in Singapore. So <laughs> they do. Yeah, but, wait, they don't. They don't. Dr. Pepper. Uh, you guys can debate this later <laughs> on. You guys can debate this later on. So, okay. anywho, um, where can they find you guys? Okay, um, for the convention, you can find us at cloudsdalesplash.com. On Facebook, we are fb.com slash thecloudsdalesplash. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, we are cloudsdalesg. All right. And um, if you want to talk to us or get in touch with us or want to send something our way, it's daniel at cloudsdalesplash.com. You can email me directly. Alright, alright. And, uh, and uh, I'm Finpai at the friendshipexpress.org 
or if you want me to um, reply to you promptly, you can tweet me at uh, at Finderpie on mm-hmm. Twitter. All right, so. and um, cat. Oh, if you um, if you look for me, I have a DNA. You can send me a note or a comment there. It's KitKatYJ. KitKatYJ. All right. All right. Yeah. So, anywho, thank you guys for coming on and well, kind of hyping it up because I'm hype. <laughs> thank you yes. so much, guys. Right. And no worries. Thanks. So, anyway, could you guys join us for the next topic? I don't mind. Can't stay. I've got to get back and make sure that Chia isn't locked out of the house. <laughs> so then, you can join us then. Gotta go then. Alrighty then. Take care, folks. Right. I will see you soon. Alright, see you then. Bye bye. So, anywho. Let's move on to the next topic. It's news time. And Rom, it's your time. Hi, I'm Rom. You all know the MBS show news time. And in today's news time, a nicer Diamond Tiara in season 5. Recently, the voice actress for Diamond Tiara, Chantal Strand, received a question asking her if she was nicer than Diamond Tiara in real life. She responded with, You all might be seeing another side of DT soon. Will Diamond Tiara change for the better? Or is this just a masterful plot? Ploy. You misspelled plot. <laughs> Not plot, ploy. Ploy, that's a word? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. To pull us into a false sense of confidence towards her? She is in season five, so that's cool. And It's I... all for the drama. <laughs> uh, DT drama. She's there for reasons. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ron, what do you think, man? Well, it'd be nice to see a, na- a nice diamond here. I mean, Sunset Shimmers went from bad to good, why can't Diamond Tiara do the same? If she becomes nice, who will become the foil for the CMCs? Dude, it's a a, a philosophical thing, man. There will be a new villain then. She will become the good guy, or she might temporarily become the good guy, and then go bad to her bad ways. You never know. But if she does go all good, there's always going to be that bad guy. It's the it's the, it's 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 nature, man's philosophy. They will take her down, but there's always gonna be another one. If they don't, well, they're screwing with nature. <laughs> they're kind of ruining the whole thing. All right, all right. Am I and... making sense here? Because I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm making any sense. Uh, yes, you are. Anyway, Finn, what about you? What do you think about this? You know, it's like school. Like you know, there will always be bullies, even if one of them um, becomes good. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And Rom, next news. In the next news, final tallies for Humble Bundle, Comic Bundle. Two weeks ago, we mentioned that you can get all the My Little Pony comics for just 15 bucks via the Humble Bundle Comic Bundle. Now that the offer is over, we can now see how well the bundle did. A total of 25,628 bundle purchases and a total payment of $338,561,000. $52, with 13.21 being the average and the highest being 358 by Rarity is Best Pony. So, yeah. I got uh, a few ideas who might be that person. <laughs> probably, probably. But, yeah, I mean, the Humble Bundle, a lot of people couldn't afford to buy the comic individually, but, well, with that, it's a good start to get a collection. And awesome on Rarity is Best Pony. <laughs> Paid three fifty for the whole thing. Awesome. And I still couldn't get it, even if it was fifteen bucks. Uh you couldn't. Maybe next time, man. Maybe next time. I tried offering Humble Bundle my potato collection, but they said no, cash only. <laughs> <sighs> I offer them, maybe I'll make you French fries out of them. How will that work? I'll toss on the free ketchup. <laughs> still, no? still said no. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> I miss the old days. <laughs> but Finn, have you read the comics? I've read a few of them. Like, um, they are quite good. I think. Yeah, like, um, I don't actively read them much. Mm. Sorry. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. And what about you, Cat? Mm, not for me because I'm not much of a comic reader. I had one comic, but I eventually got bored of it and I sold it. <laughs> oh, that that is not that is not nice. The comics are fun. The comics. I know. Fun. I know. But yeah. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's move on to the last news. And, Rom? <sighs> this one's going to be heavy, ladies and gentlemen, so prepare yourselves. If you have any handkerchiefs or tissues, you have to pull them out now. Everfree Network closing down. It's heavy hard that we announce you that Everfree Network is closing down this January 1st, 2015. 
MFRI Network is one of the few Brony Network to emerge from the early days of the Brony community. A few of its notable shows were Stay Brony, My Friends with Dusty Cat, Sketchy Sounds, Sketchy Sounds Live Songcast, and their interview with the voice actors and actresses from the show. According to Final Draft, the co-founder of the EFN, the shutdown was not based on any drama, financial concern, or other conspiracy, but instead it reflects our collective need for the time and energy to focus on newer, bigger, and better projects. From everyone on the MBS Show crew, we would like to say a huge thank you for all the content the EFN has published. Links can be found in the show notes below. And yeah, wow, poof, EFN closing down, that, that is, wow, rough. Uh, be and kind of out of nowhere. To be yeah. honest, yeah. almost unbelievable I, to me. Yeah, I mean they've been around. They they had good shows and they had good interviews. They felt so strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And oh wow, Oof, I I can't say much. Whatever it is, good luck to them on their future endeavors. And well, we'll we still have other stations out there and other shows. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. My show, listen to it. <laughs> uh, what did you, Rom? Take us out. I have been Romeo all with the MBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Hey, thank you, thank you. And let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is shoutouts. My shoutout goes to you guys. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Finn. And thank you, Kat. And James. Welcome. Thank you for coming on. And thank you for thank you being an awesome guest. Thank you, Dan. Right, now, thanks for having us on your show. No problem, no problem. And Rom, what about you? Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's cool. Any shoutouts from you, Finn? I would really, really like to thank um my co-founder, uh, Daniel Anthony. Like he he helped with all the admin stuff, and he's more e- experienced since he he um also helped to make Can You Happen, and um also Gloomy Nian, uh, our official artist. She does the fantastic artworks for for the con and also cat who's also on the show um for doing all the um motion graphics things like you know without these um people i don't think i would have made the closer splash like such a huge thing as it is today and what about you cat thank you for the praise Finn. um i also like to thank the committee for giving me an opportunity to make to make use of my skills and showcase to the world my my stuff and basically the MBS show to publicize me <laughs> and the and, and the counter splash. No problem man. It's our pleasure. Anyway, if you have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the show at gmail dot com. And if you want to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. So the bot will tweet about the show and whatever tickles her fancy. And you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about stuff, apparently. And what about you, Rom? You can find me at reliciousgallery.tumblr.com or relicious.dnr.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links will be provided in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romuald. Anyway, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.